Welcome to Native Engineering. Today we are doing an exercise based on our previous lesson which was Dynamics, Engineering Science and Form. The exercise that we are doing is an exercise I've taken from a question paper that was written on 1 August 2019. It's question number 4 and it reads as follows. A car with a mass of 1,200 kg is traveling on a horizontal plane at 120 km per hour in a 60 km per hour zone. The driver notices a speed trap 30 meters away and applies the brakes so that the car moves at 60 km per hour through the speed trap. The resistance to motion on the plane is 0.18 3 newtons per kg. Determine each of the following. Those are the questions. The first question, deceleration of the car. Second question, braking force of the car. Third question, time taken to reach the speed trap after the brakes were applied. And the fourth question, they say, calculate the kinematic energy of the car after having moved 20 meters after the bricks had been applied and this is the information that we are given we are told that the mass of the car is 100 is 1200 kg and the initial speed that the car was traveling at is 120 kilometers per hour which is 33.333 meters per second and the, ma the, 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 the distance is dead. We're told that the driver see a pit trap 30 meters away, and that which will be our distance. And then we are also given the final velocity. We're told that the driver is traveling at 120 in a 60 zone, 60 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed which he is trying to get to from 120, and that will be our final speed, which is 16.667 meters per second. And we're also given the frictional force, which is 0 0.183 newtons per kg. And we look at the first question. They say, determine the deceleration of the car. This is the formula that we are going to use, since we have everything except for the, dis for, for the acceleration. We'll say A is equals to V squared minus U squared divided by 2 times distance. Our initial velocity is... Our final velocity is 16.667 squared divided minus our initial velocity which is 33.33 3 squared, 2 times 30, which is the distance. And we get our A as negative 13.888 meters per second squared. The negative sign tells us that it is a deceleration. And we go to the second question. They say, determine the braking force of the car. Now we know that the motion of the car is in that direction. The car is traveling to that direction. We will have a frictional force which is always which always opposes motion. And now we are asked to calculate the braking force. It's the force that is needed to get the car from its initial speed to its final speed which is from 120 to 60 kilometers per hour. And it will be in that direction. Since it is a braking force, it should be in the opposite direction from where the car is traveling to. Now we are going to use this, which will say the braking force is equal to mass times acceleration. We have the mass, which is 1,200, and the deceleration, which is 13.888. And this will give us a force of 
1.6665.6 newtons. We know that F net is the sum of all the forces that are acting on an object. This force that we got here, it's the force that was supposed to be applied to the car. If the car was traveling on a frictionless plane. But now we are told about the friction. Meaning that out of the total force that was supposed to be applied to the car, some of, the, some of that force was being applied by the frictional force. If we had to apply, let's say, 20 newtons in breaking the car, but we have a frictional force of 2, we will have to divide to minus the 2, because already the 2 is working against the car, it's trying to stop the car, because we know that frictional force is always against the motion. So even from here, we have to get the total frictional force and minus from the force that was supposed to be applied because some of that force was already applied by the frictional force, which was trying to stop the car. And then we are going to have to get the frictional force first, since we are told that F, the frictional force, it's equals to 0 0.183 newtons per kg. We will have to times by the mass of the car which is 1,200, and this will give us a frictional force of 1 of 219.6 newtons. And we will say the breaking force is equal to 1,6665.6 D minus 219.6 and we are going to get our breaking force as 16446 newtons which can be which can also be written as 16.446 kilo newtons this is the breaking force that we will have to apply to bring the car from 120 to six to 60 kilometers per hour and then we go to the second question which says determine the time taken to reach the speed trap after the bricks were applied we will look for an equation that we can use this is the equation that we are going to use we have to look for an equation that has time and this is what we are going to use. I will erase this. The C and we are going to use V. It's equals to U plus A T. T it's equals to V negative U it's equal divided by A, which will be the final speed is 33. It's 16.66 seven minus thirty three point three 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 and the deceleration is thirteen point eight 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 we already know that it is a deceleration so from this from these two values we are going to get a negative answer because it is a deceleration so since we already have the deceleration, we are going to include the negative sign so that they will cancel out. And we are going to get a time of 1.2 seconds. This is the time it will take for the car to reach the speed trap. And then we go to the fourth question, where they say, determine the kinetic energy of the car. After having moved 20 meters after the bricks, had been applied. So now we are only considering 20, we are, we are considering 20 as our distance. And since we said that kinetic energy is given by half mv squared, we said kinetic energy is the energy a body possesses due to velocity. We have to find 
the, 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 the velocity at which the car was traveling at when it had traveled only 20 meters after the brick had been, had been applied. So we are going to use this formula that says the A is equals to V squared minus U squared divided by A S. Now we have the deceleration, which is 13.888. And we are looking for V2. Negative our initial velocity. It's still the 120 kilometers per hour, which will be 33.333 3, 3, 3 squared. This is meters per second. Divided by 2 times we are told about 20 meters after the bricks were applied. So we are, we are looking for the velocity at which the car was traveling with by then. And then we'll say 20 meters. And we are going to get our velocity as 23.571 meters. And from here, we will calculate the kinetic energy which is given by half mv squared our mass is not changing it's 1200 our velocity is 23.571 squared which will give us a kinetic energy of 3 3 3.355 kilojoules and that is the value of our kinetic energy and that is basically the end of our lesson i will see you on the next lesson